Hello, beautiful souls. It is my hope that you are happy. It is my hope that you are safe, that you are blessed, that you are abundant. That type of love, not this love over here, this I refuse to let you go. I refuse to let you grow beyond me. You're telling me that you're unhappy. You're telling me that this doesn't align with what it is that you want for your life. And I just want you to stay here to appease my feelings and to make me feel okay. My beloved love, okay, I'm getting very powerful energy between you and your person. Wow, so you've been dreaming of them. Your person has definitely been dreaming of you too. Some of you may be having the same exact experiences in the 5D. Okay, but I definitely feel like you both are coming together and removing blockages or healing certain aspects of your connection here. This is beautiful. Let's get the next message here. Wow. Yes, we have I need to see your beautiful face. Oh, this is so beautiful. Yes, Divine Feminine, I'm definitely getting that there has been a major energy clearing. There's new energy within your connection, you can feel it, and you may be wondering if your person can feel it. They definitely can at this time. It's almost as if they're surrounded by your energy, your energy, by you assuming this position, you know, of being extremely magnetic, of you releasing a lot of the dead weight from your life. You have made so much room for new energy to come in. And it's also helping your person in turn clear a lot of their low vibrational energies that were kind of attached to them as it pertains to your connection. So we're talking about feelings of doubt, feelings of fear, maybe feelings of unworthiness as it pertains to fully stepping into their masculine divinity here. Your person is feeling very, very confident. It's almost as if your love is surrounding them, and it's kind of shifted them in some kind of way. Very, very powerful feminine energy that this message is for. If you have been questioning whether you were still attached to some type of karmic cycle, because I'm getting loop spell, like literally, some of you are breaking generational curses, some of you have come from toxic households. Okay, and I always love to say, how you do anything is how you do everything. So, some of your core relationships have showed up in many different facets of your life, and because you actually assume the position of taking inventory, of slowing down, for some of you, God had to slow you down through tower moments. If these certain tower moments didn't happen, you would not be where you are today. You would still be indulging in something that was not in alignment with your higher self. So, massive tower moments are happening, but they were actually fated encounters, and this massive recalibration is happening at this time for you to get into alignment with what it is that you are supposed to do. I'm also getting, really quick before I close out, discernment. As you become really, really magnetic, so many people are going to want to experience you. I don't think you understand your power, Divine Feminine, and how people can literally see your light from afar. People know who you are. A lot of times, People can identify who you are before you can, and this has been to your detriment in the past. And it's been like this from the very, very beginning, but your person was very strategic about keeping this from you. Okay. This is someone who wanted to operate in control. This is someone who wanted to navigate this connection in the same manner that they navigated every other connection in their lives. From Divine Muscular. Tight, yes, if you believe. 